Printing barcode labels and barcode catalogs is handled in the barcode print area. So in the navigation ribbon at the top, click on the barcode print icon. What I'm going to do is adjust my screen size so we can focus on the work area. There are three tabs available. We'll be looking at the barcode labels tab and the barcode catalogs tab. On the barcode labels tab, the first selector is for the label. Click the drop down and you'll see two sections. First section is for the custom barcode labels that you'll be adding. The second section is for the preset labels and that's where we'll start. You'll see both Avery sheet labels listed as well as some zebra choices. I'll choose the zebra with a three inch by one inch label size. The second selector is for the barcode. Click the drop down and you'll see all of the available data to choose from. We'll start with locations. The available locations will show in this left side window. You simply highlight and then move to the right the selected locations that you want to print a barcode label for. The lower part of the screen at this point, make sure you choose the Zebra barcode label printer that you've got installed. And here I'll press the preview button, which will pull up a preview. You can see that I chose seven labels to print and if I scroll through one by one, the label itself will change accordingly. So at this point, if I were to hit the print button, those seven barcode labels would print. It's that same idea for printing Avery sheet labels. In the label dropdown, you'll first choose one of the Avery templates, barcode field, choose locations. And you can choose some locations. The bottom of the screen, you'll select from the printer dropdown an available Windows laser printer, inkjet printer, something, uh, something like that that you've got attached. If I hit preview, you can see that the labels preview on a sheet of paper. And again, if I were to hit the print button, those would print out of my uh, laser printer. The same steps apply for printing asset labels, stock number labels, or anything else in the system. So in this example, I'll go back down to the Zebra 3 inch by 1 inch choice. Barcode drop down, I'll choose stock items. I can scroll or do a search for a stock number of interest. Once I select that, I can then either preview or print it. And here's the basic stock number barcode label, which I may be putting on the item itself or on the shelf where this item is inventoried. The barcode catalogs are similar. First choice in the label dropdown. Again, there's a custom section where you'll be able to add custom catalogs. Otherwise, of the preset catalogs, you can choose the catalog preset choice. The barcode drop down. Again, I'll simply go to locations. I'll choose some locations, move those to the right side window, and then I'll do a preview. Catalog format, of course, shows in this format. You'll be able to edit these if you want, and you can create custom catalogs. And again, if I were to hit print, this would print off of my laser printer. So as a review, let me go back to the full screen and going into the barcode print area on the barcode labels tab choose the label from the drop down choose the particular label you want to choose to print and then select one or more labels and then go ahead and preview or print those thanks